the dream of a grey stallion. For those of you who have been following my channel and following us in the preparation for the show or the stallion inspection, I just couldn't do it. I've never lost him before, but it has been so close that it's happened. When we met uh, new horses, mm, it really scared me. He completely disconnects me when he has to meet, meet and greet new horses. The same goes uh, if a strong man tries to hold him. There are so many hormones in his body now that I don't know if he really has control over himself. It can be scary at the show with many stallions close by in the ring and if I can't hold him. I'm simply afraid of risking that someone gets scared or in the worst case injured if I walk around at the stallion inspection with him and end up losing him. If stallions are very affected by a lot of hormones and then have problems behaving in their daily life, then they constantly get into conflicts and can receive a lot of corrections that are actually a bit unfair. No one wants to constantly be in conflicts. Everyone just wants to be calm and be in a good mood, but they, they can't do it. Some stallions get too big for their bridges and therefore constantly gets into conflict with the one thing or another. They can't help themselves. And in the end, they become sour and frustrated because they experience corrections way too often. So then it's not a good life for them to be a stallion. What do we do for our own sake? And what do we do for the sake of the horse? Please uh, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Neuter, castration, gelding, or what you call this. I'm thinking of how to preserve my horse's value when the challenges arise. What is important to you as a horse owner? How can you best facilitate the highest quality of life, health, and well-being of your horse? How much responsibility can you handle on a daily basis? Does the horse get stressed by hormonal influences or does it handle them with ease? What do you prefer your horse to do? Breeding, leisure or sports? Do you want it to be able to socialize in a herd? Do you want others to be able to safely handle the horse? There are so many factors to consider when deciding whether the horse should remain a stallion or live a calmer life as a gelding with less, with less drama in its daily routine. This decision for me is super hard. There are so many things to consider. And there's the fact that it would be so much fun to have our own stud horse sired by our own stud horse, Bitklitur. It would be really, really awesome. And that's because I'm so proud of him. I, I think he's really great. First, let's talk about the disadvantages of castrating a stallion. It can affect the stallion's performance and muscle mass. Some horses may experience a decrease in muscle mass and performance post castration due to hormonal balance changes. And we do have a risk of complications during the castration process. Any surgical procedure carries risk and a castrating stallion can lead to complications like infection, bleeding or pain. It's crucial to maintain excellent hygiene during and after castration, as well as regular movement several times a day until the wound has healed. It should heal from the inside out and not become too swollen. The horse should receive antibiotics and a pain relief after castration, along with close monitoring. Some stallions may undergo changes in temperament and behavior after castration, including a loss of confidence or alteration in social behavior. Some might feel nervous and unsure of themselves for a period, as they don't quite recognize themselves and often take on a new role in their social situation. And we have loss of breeding opportunities, of course. Castration eliminates the stallion's ability to breed, which can be disadvantages if the stallion has high breeding value. After castration, the stallion may have altered nutritional and grooming needs that require adjustments to maintain a good health and well-being. This could involve less concentrate feed and more need for exercise, as a gelding is often calmer than a stallion, for better or for worse. <laughs> And then we have the advantages of neutering a stallion. More people can handle the horse on a daily basis. It's less hassle for the horse owner as there is more risk associated with a stallion than a gelding. 
and it's less of a show if a rider falls off a gelding than a stallion during training or competitions. Neutering can uh, dial down the stallion's hormonal influence, helping to reduce aggression if he is uh, aggressive, territorial behavior and unwanted stallion instincts that can lead to dissay situations. It simplifies handling and interaction with other horses. A castrated stallion is easier to handle and integrate into a herd. This is uh, because he is no longer driven by breeding intentions and rivalry. A gelding likely enjoys a better quality of life with less stress than a stallion. Stallions less often get to hang out with a herd than geldings. It's making them lonelier and more frustrated. Minimizing hormonal influences can lead to improved focus and cooperation during training and competitions. As the stallion can be less preoccupied with seeking out mares for showing off to perceived rivals. It can also be easier to work with the horse in the right frame if it doesn't have a very strong stallion neck. Some stallions become pushy and reluctant during riding and may challenge their rider or driver's authority more often. It takes much more skill and experience to train stallions than geldings or mares. At the end of the day, everyday life is what's important. For me, with a lot of kids and young people at the stable, having a stallion always poses an extra risk. It is also a much bigger responsibility to bring a stallion to competitions than it is to bring a gelding or a mare. The same goes for training sessions. If a rider falls off a stallion, it can be very difficult. But if a rider falls off a mare or gelding, it usually goes just fine. Where we live, there is a lot of activities, a lot of equestrian sports going on, and the horses have to jump, do dressage, carriage driving, and we enjoy participating in various events. It's simply easier and safer with a gelding than a stallion. One of the things I found most fun is showcasing the Fjord horse, showing how versatile and user-friendly it is for everything. I also use Fjord horses a lot in teaching. Something special about Grotullen, aside of his colors, is that he's a large Fjord horse with a temper that I find very, very nice. I actually want to use that horse for uh, quite a bit for myself. I want to be him to become a good riding and driving horse and the fact that he has a good size is an advantage for me. So when it all comes down to it, what's more important to me is the daily life. That the horse functions well, that it's easy to handle and that we all get a lot of joy from it. The horse and I. It seems so much more important to me than risking it being difficult to handle at the exhibition. I've spent so much time training this horse and I've followed all the rules all the time. If we really only have a mediocre stallion, which wouldn't be a loss for the stock if he's not included, we also risk an accident because he's very hormonal right now. I chickened out. I didn't go to the stallion inspection. He was just too strong and I was afraid there would be an accident if I didn't, I wasn't able to control him. He just wanted to go and say hi to the other horses and he got really strong. I was so afraid there would be an accident and I thought it was better for everyone if we just stayed home. I didn't want him to come off as a crazy horse and act like an I don't know because he's not really like that. He just didn't handle his hormones real well when uh, when the spring came and uh, he is simply much more valuable to me as a working horse than a breeding stallion and I do not want to risk him appearing as a hormonal troublemaker or simply not performing well because everything else is going so very well. He's a fantastic horse and um, that's just what I want. Everyday life with him is it's fun and beautiful and the days with him are really really joyful and great and that's why we have justified the choice with. What is most important in our everyday life at home and what ensures that the Grotullen and the family have the best possible daily life and quality of life going forward. And of course, I can imagine how great he would have been in the show ring. And I'm sure many more than just me would have loved him there. But it turned out this way now. Is this the path of least resistance? I don't know. For the love of the horse and not the dream.